Good morning. How many will be judged for sinning? Our reading today is in Jeremiah 25, verses 27 through 29. Therefore you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Drink, be drunk, and vomit. Fall and rise no more because of the sword which I will send among you. And it shall be, if they refuse to take the cup from your hand to drink, then you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, You shall certainly drink. For behold, I begin to bring calamity on the city which is called by my name, and should you be utterly unpunished? You shall not be unpunished, for I will call for a sword on all the inhabitants of the earth, says the Lord of hosts. The sword on all the inhabitants of the earth is the divine judgment for sin. All humans have chosen rebellion, and so all humans face the necessity of being reborn, remade. All are granted life as a probation. All get to choose, though, in this life what they'll serve. Will they serve rightness or wrongness? God's unselfish vision for a community of beings who serve each other for eternity? Or the futility of just a few passing moments and then being ended for eternity? God draws his sword on all the inhabitants of the earth. All must choose life or death. All must choose to live like devils and die like devils, or live like Jesus and die like Jesus. And yet we've all trained ourselves so that we we rationalize and we, we have a way of justifying just about whatever we want to do. We'll think up some really good reasons, but in the end, that's not going to do. We all must choose authentic goodness, or we're going to choose some kind of a fake plastic wrapped goodness. You know, something that, you know, sort of looks, looks kind of like it's right, but we know that deep down underneath, uh, in the dark things, we're engaging in with wickedness in things that we really know we shouldn't be doing. We have to choose between those two. In order to live with ourselves, we have to choose actual goodness, or we're going to choose some kind of this fake goodness. You can be sure of it. We want to ask God to, to strengthen the, the, the desire in us to do right, strengthen the desire to, to be all that we can be, strengthen the moral desire for holiness and rightness and things, things that matter, true joy instead of fake happiness. We need to pray for those things. And God will guide us. He'll be our guide and help us. In fact, now let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, your way is the right way. Our way uh, for sure is the wrong way. We want your way. Help us to rise above ourselves, Lord. We can't do it without you. We're hopeless without you. But with you, all things are possible. So Lord, you be our helper. Help us to be reborn. Help us so that our desires are changed. Help us so that we want to do good. We want to help others toward the kingdom. Lord, please, Lord, you be the one. Thank you for hearing our prayer today. And help us just make this simple choice to follow Jesus in all things. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, all will be judged for sinning, but Jesus aims to save as many as possible. And that's a wonderful thought to carry on out into the rest of your day. Have a great day.